What's up guys, it's Lunatic, good to the Brookhaven Bayonets, and this is week one of the PSBF. We are going up again. Oh, I actually don't remember my what it's name. I'm sorry. I'll put it in somewhere. Um so quickly going over the teams. You know <clears throat> You know my team, Mega Save Light, Tap Pokal, Black and Rock Day, Delamite's Tentacle, Registeel, Play It All, Cure and Black, which is my Z Captain, Tamil Flame, Heracross, and Tokitik. My opponent's team has Megalopony, Tornado Therian, Reuniclus, Tangrowth, Mantine, Skun Tank, Mill Tank, Clefable, Alolan Marowak, Dredagon, and Escavalier. So he has a pretty bulky team and a lot of uh, annoying things. He has three Mont with Regenerator in Torn Team, uh, potentially Reuniclus, and potentially Tangrowth, but Tangrowth will probably run it. Uh, Mantine got a buff this gen, it's actually a, a pretty good mod now, uh, getting Roost and a little bit of buff to its stats, especially very bulky. Uh, Mill Tank is super fat, Clefable is super annoying with two really good abilities. And then offensively, Alolan Marowak does a lot of damage, Megalopony, <clears throat> Escavalier, uh, so he has threats. Um, one thing I noticed about his team is that he has very polarizing speed tiers. So uh, in my prep, I did uh, play with that. And you can see on the screen right now, we have Diamond Head, the Cure in Black. Uh, and you may have noticed already that I have a negative speed nature. Because uh, the Tornadus and Megalopony are going to outspeed me no matter what. And everything else. Uh, probably won't, even with a negative speed nature. The only thing that could are Mill Tank, which if it does, um, I don't think it would do too much to me. And I think potentially Skunk Tank, but I don't really care. And I, I don't think that he's going to bring Skunk Tank. So going over the rest of Kieran Black, I'm holding ICMZ. Uh, ability Terrible, and my moves are Freeze Shock, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt. Uh, it's, so there's a mix here in black. Uh, Freeze Shock is there to go with the Ice Beam Z, uh, so I have a physical Ice Z move, and it does a tremendous amount of damage to everything. Uh, to Mantine, it does, I think, upwards of 80%. Uh, Mill Tank with Thick Fat, I think, does around that much too. And everything else, I get aside from a lot of Marowak, like they do not want to take that hit. So that's that's my nuke button, and then I have coverage with Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Fusion Bolt. <coughs> uh, the spread is 248 HP, 12 attack, 140 defense, and 108 special attack with a brave nature. Next up, we have Speedy Gonzalez, the Tapu Koko, holding the choice scarf. Uh, I, I wanted to bring a Scarfer because uh, to be able to outspeed Megalopony because naturally uh, Megalopony is faster than my entire team. So I wanted to bring a Scarfer and I thought Tapu Koko would be a good one. Uh, he told, he, well, he's packing Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and U-Turn. He does not have a ground type but he does have a little Marowak with Lightning Rod. So. I guess while that thing's still alive, I'll be uh, U-turning, but when it goes down, I can start full switching. Uh, I definitely, definitely believe he's bringing a little Marowak, so I did prepare for it um, <clears throat> with a couple of mods. Um, Megalopony and Torn T, I think, are also two must brings, and I think the tank are pretty likely too. So those things I definitely tried preparing for a lot. <clears throat> Tapu Koko spread is 64 HP. 8 defense, uh, 252 special attack, and 184 speed, timid nature. Uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but this league, all, all mods are set to level 50. So, uh, I don't know why they do that, but that's how it is. It's fine. Next up, we have Woodstock, the Tokatik, with, you know, Eevee Light, because what else would you run? Um... Ability doesn't matter because it's not running any attacks, so like it has 
Hustle, Serene Grace, Super Luck. I, I have no attacking move, so... It doesn't matter. So I'm running uh, Thunder Wave, Roost, Skill Belt, Reflect. Uh, I'm bringing Reflect because I feel like his physical attackers are the ones that are most threatening. His special attackers I think I can deal with better. Uh, Megalopony, Alola Marowak, and if he ends up bringing like a Scavalier, uh, I think I need that Reflect up more than Light Screen or some other move. <clears throat> I have 248 HP, 252 Defense Bold, and then 8 Special Defense. Next up we have Squilliam, the Tentacruel, Hold to Black Sludge, uh, Clear Body, and his moves are Sludge Wave, Scald, Knock Off, Haze. Uh, I really wanted to bring Knock Off and will o -Wisp, and that's why I was going to bring Mega Sableye before. But it just felt like Mega Sableye couldn't do much. And the fact that it was slow also was... Um, a hindrance. So Tentacruel is just naturally really fast, base 100 speed. And again, I also put a negative speed nature here because I'm gonna outspeed the slow things, I'm gonna get outsped by the fast thing, so it's fine. Um, yeah, Sludge Wave, Scald, or Stab, and Scald can also get a burn, which would be very nice. Knock Off, <clears throat> I do want to get rid of any item uh, leftovers. Uh, any like barriers potentially all of that and then for the last move I have haze because I didn't really need a fourth move and with haze I can potentially stop uh, like a reuniclus or a fable uh, really those two uh, from setting up like call mine or something and while reuniclus can uh, take out tentacruel it, you know, it can save the rest of my team if I let Tentacruel go down by getting a haze off. The spread is 240 HP, 228 defense, relaxed nature, and 40 special attack. <clears throat> Next up we have Ahoy! The Delmines. Uh, Assault Vest, Steel Worker. He moves Anchor Shot, Shadow Claw, Power Whip, and Rock Slide. Um, this was my first ring because with all his regenerator mods, I really wanted to make them stay in with Anchor Shot. <laughs> and um, if I'm able to do that with Reuniclus, I can immediately kill it with Shadow Claw. And I'm a Salt Fest, so whatever he does, I can take it. Uh, Rock Slide to cover things like uh, Mantine, Alola Marowak, Tornti. And Power Up is just there for stab. It'll hit certain things harder than these other coverage moves. Uh, his spread is 240 HP, 80 attack, 92 defense, impish nature, 52 special defense, 44 speed. <clears throat> um, I believe the 44 speed is to outspeed a no speed Clefable, I think that's what it was for. Um, so yeah, Delmise, Delmise has his stats all over the place. Uh, next up we have Ojos. The Claydol, <laughs> holding leftovers with Levitate, his Stealth Rock, Skill Swap, Psychic, Rapid Spin. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you know, Rocker, Spinner, normal. Uh, psychic hits stiff fairly hard, and it it does a tremendous amount to make a opening. And then Skill Swap, um, it was an interesting last edition. Um, I can't. I don't have um, <clears throat> another move that I need to put on this, I'm, like an attacking move, it's not going to do enough damage, it's not stab, and ground stab doesn't hit too much that I'll be able to deal with. <clears throat> um, you know what, I'm actually wrong on that. Uh, I outspeed Alolan Marowak, so I could earth power it. I think I have enough things for the Alolan Marowak though. And I do like the idea of skill swap because I can take the ability <coughs> away from, let's say, Clefable, or Miltank, or Mantine, Tangrowth, Reuniclus, Tornti. So a bunch of regenerators, I can take Magic Guard or Unaware, I can take Water Absorb, uh, I outspeed Mantine, um, yes, I outspeed Mantine, 
Uh, so if I'm able to still swap the water absorb, um, then he can't hit me with his water moves, so that's really good. Um, <clears throat> and I can also do this to Megalopony and make it lose uh, Scrappy, which means it can actually uh, not touch Delmize very well, unless he has maybe coverage with like Ice Punch, but I think the skill swap uh, can do some cool things this game. So, that's the team. Um, I'm pretty excited to use this. There's, yeah, I have a lot of fun stuff with these sets and spreads. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the battle. Alright guys, we're back with the battle. Uh, let's see, he brought the Megalopony, the Mantine, Lola Marowak, Lefable, Miltank, Escavalier. So he didn't bring Tornti or Tangrowth. Uh, he actually did not bring any Regenerator Mon. Okay. Uh, that's interesting, but he did bring the Lola Marowak and Megalopony, which were two big threats. Um, as Cavalier, I didn't think it could be... That probably still doesn't have speed. Um, is that too strong the Escavalier bring? Okay, so... <clears throat> what can we lead off with here? I think the best thing would probably be Woodstock and just set up a flex. Uh, if you lead with Miltank or Fable, a Mantine, or actually literally anything. That's, I'm sorry, I'm not explaining it. If you lead with the physical attacker, I can go for Reflect. Eh, against Megalophony, I can do it. I'll probably just Reflect no matter what, actually. It's a pretty good play. Um, I don't want to lead with anything else, I don't think. Tentacle's decent as well. However, I do tend to pull it, I think it's a lot more valuable. Uh, let me just count real quick. Um, I'm gonna check something. I wanna see how much a cavalier does to. to I am max HP, max best defense, and I'll be putting up reflect. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, I'm gonna keep my notebook here so I can take notes. Set up reflect. Of T wave. And if he goes Mantine, I really don't care. Uh, I mean, what? Alola Marowak, because then I set up reflect. And I do believe I see him. Uh, actually, I do not. I'm lying. So I'll set up reflect first. Now I'll go for T wave. <laughs> okay. So we went into this anyways. It's interesting. Um <clears throat> Okay. Let's see what he goes for. 
bro. Let's go, baby. How much with reflect can Tempted Fool deal with this? Okay. Ah, oh, he went for the knockoff. Okay, that's unfortunate. But it, it makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go for knockoff my own here. Should I? He did say he will be right back. Let's let's start taking notes. Uh, Ver Commander Verka. Okay. Uh, Mill tank. That's Stealthrock. Marowak. Has it is lightning rod. Um, he might be especially defensive because. When the Sun and Moon meta first started, Alola Marowak was the check to Coco, so he could have brought a similar spread to that to be able to take that on. He's gonna have Thick Club because why would he not? Uh, and he showed knockoff. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, Alola Marowak is definitely something I want to get rid of as soon as possible <clears throat> because. That means, one, I can freely vote switch, and I can also freely T-wave. They went into Mantine here. <coughs> it's interesting. <sighs> Why did you go Mantine? I'm yeah, looking for it still. Um... I don't know what I want to go into here. I want to get into clay doll soon so I can get off rocks and spin. I need to find the time to do that. Um. I think I'm gonna go into a hoy. And he did go for the air splash. Okay, that's great. <sighs> um, now he probably knows I'm a salt vest. What would he go into here? Well, power would still be a good amount. The only bad thing for him to go into. I think would be a Cavalier, which I think could be a switch in here. Because uh, it really covers all my options. Hmm. How much would. Delmise to a yes, Cavalier. Yeah, my moves do pretty much nothing. Uh, let's just do rock spikes, rock spikes. Maybe. Well, then shadow claw would be the thing to do. <sighs> uh, shadow claw does a decent amount. Alright, how much do I do to this mantine? Power does a large amount. 
What did he say? Anything? I'm gonna take the power whip. What are you doing to make a lot for me? I want to go for power whip, but I also don't have a switch in for a scavalier. So that make me want to go for shadow claw. I'm gonna go for shadow claw. He just okay. Just went for air slash again. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Was I a shadow claw? Pretty low roll. Alright, that's whatever. So he's only going for air slash thus far. He's gonna go into play hall. I'm going to go for the skill swap. So man time. And air flash. Okay, just went for roof. Uh, what's more important, rapid spinning or getting up my own rock? I think it's rapid spinning. Yeah, I need to rapid spin here. <sighs> but now he has me on the back end because now he has pressure. Um, honestly, I think I can just go into, um, <coughs> Ahoy, Ahoy's. Ahoy does outspeed. Actually, Ahoy outspeeds the Scavalier, but that means nothing. Um, doesn't outspeed anything else, I think. And it's not going to take too many hits from anything either. So, unless this thing goes for Sword Dance, um, I think the right play here is just go into Delamite and Sack it. <coughs> So the Mantine does seem to be kind of like the, the showdown set where it's just like max HP, max plus max defense. Um, because it's special defense is just really good. So I'm gonna take note of that. Okay, so what do I bring into the deck Cavalier now? Uh, I tend to grow with this. Everything from him. We can go for knockoff. Uh, you can't do much. You can't do much. Yeah, this is like my only play. I realize how threatening a scavenger was. <sighs> Works anyway. Um. <clears throat> Having my black sludge knocked off is really, really unfortunate. I feel like this man time is just going to be switched into my tentacle every time, which is really annoying. Oh, man time also showed roots. Take note of that. This guy Show the knock off. I that all he said. Yes, yep, okay. Um <clears throat> I'll go for knockoff. He will assault this. And he does have drill then. Okay. Drill <laughs> run, he was assault this, but he's not done. <coughs> Dang. Uh, this thing had leftovers, go for knockoff. 
Uh, Tentacruel? I think Tentacruel is still really useful. Sure. <sighs> I go into Woodstock, how much does an Iron Head do to Woodstock without Reflect Up? Uh, I'll put an S stamp there. Do what? Wait, Iron Head does nothing. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> this malware can kind of just come in on Tokus system. I have nothing for it. And he went for the knockoff. That was a good play by him. Getting rid of my Eevee Light. <coughs> I'm faster than him, uh, so I'm just gonna set up a flex if I need this. <sighs> but yeah, unfortunately, my Poke Take no longer has Eevee Light. I can't do much to his cavalier. Uh, um, going to Ojos, I could get up my stealth box, but I'm not pressuring him at all. Um, let's see who's here on black. If how much earth power does. Power. And then take off his assault vest. That was not off. <clears throat> Doesn't do a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna roost up actually. <clears throat> He's going for Iron Head again. Uh, I'm not enjoying this. I'm gonna go into oh uh, no, I I have nothing to pressure him right now. And like going into Cure and Black, um yes I can take an Iron Head, but um still doing a lot. Shut the thing down. Have a step there. And not the same thing. Let's see how much spike it does. So it does resist, but <clears throat> uh, his best defense isn't very good. Actually, yes, it is. I don't know this game. don't have anything good here <laughs> but I can go I can just go for a T wave I guess it, and just like play with hacks which I don't like doing so I'm gonna do it okay <clears throat> thank you for switching out um, Just trying to get a rock. I'm going to go for the rock. That's fine. I'm gonna go for my own rocks now. Having rocks on his side uh, will be pretty good. That Mantine and Marowak, which are checks to some of my alarms, won't be able to come in for free. Yep, there it is. The reflect just for off, so. Good. 
Auschwitz by Kim. I do believe a shadow bone uh, killed me here. Um, like I'm pretty defensive, but I think like there wasn't enough to still be able to take take that from a little in their way. Um, actually, no, I am able to take this. I do also upgrade them that way. <clears throat> Wait. This Marowak doesn't have fish plus it's leftovers. So that's that's dandy. <clears throat> Whoa, that's a lot less threatening. <laughs> that's leftovers. I don't know if I could have seen that before. No, I think they're the first animation. He's not revealing a lot of things. Which I don't like. The fact that he's not the reason. Can I just go into pure and black here? The only way this goes bad is if he just randomly puts in like a little bit in here. Can I upgrade everything on this team? Power. <clears throat> and you do not have thick club. Thank you. I'm not having thick club. I'm going to stand here. <clears throat> that did nothing. <laughs> Load my defense though. For jerk. So, my earth power is very telling right here. Except for what else am I supposed to go for? Um, I have to go for the earth power. It, it'll hit everything. If you go to Mantine, Fusion Bolt, and the Christian to Marowak, he's switching between two things. So, I'm just going for earth power. If he wants to switch into one of his other mons, that's fine. Um, if you go to Mega Lop, uh, and some chip damage on it, but I need to immediately switch out if he goes lock on it. Okay. Um. Okay. Can I knock out the Discavalier? With something. Fusion Bolt? Had a chance to kill. I don't like chance. I really, 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 really don't like this. <clears throat> and so he's shown knockoff to over an iron head. Now that that was a very, um, his ability, see, probably overcoat. What is swarm shell armor overcoat? So, one of those. I don't want to use freeze shock on this. Do I sack Skullion? All of my mods have so much to use. <laughs> <coughs> I need all his rabbits, but I need William to knock off his skull thing. Okay. Actually, Squillium's the least valuable. And he doesn't have his setup mon, like his call mine setup mon, so Haze isn't worth it. But yeah, I'm just gonna start to them. Uh, I can go Topatic instead of Reflect again. And I don't die to Iron Head. I did that very fast. I do remember the Kelp. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I think, <laughs> I think I messed up. I think I missed Blade right there. Um... I misplayed. I forgot to take into account that my evil light was knocked off. 
Oh, hustle. I was like, why did my attack do this? Unless I go for Roost, but if I go for Roost, he just kills me. So I can set up a reflect before I go down. Yeah, there's what I'm gonna have to do. I've, I've been on the back end of this game the entire time. Yeah, I just have to set up reflect before I go down. Yep, knock me out. Okay. Going to Ojos, then weaken this thing. I really would like to spin, but this thing needs more damage on it for Kieran Black to come in. Come and see that. Okay, he is in Earth Power range. He does have some Mega Horn. He has shown that. However, this means rocks are up. I'm down 6 to 2 right now, which I don't enjoy. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is, but I have not been playing well. I got 6 out in another league. I don't want it to happen again, but I don't, I don't know. here because if I go Coco yeah no I definitely lose because <sighs> if he sacks something uh, Megalopony comes in and kills Jim Black and then I'm stuck with Tapu Coco and Tapu Coco is not getting through this if I go Coco here, and he goes Marowak, I'm scarfed, so I can't switch too much. Uh, Kieran Black only has one more switch in. If I go Coco and I U turn predicting Marowak and he just goes for Iron Head and Coco just went down for nothing. I just lose this game. I, I don't know what it is, um, I'm really upset that I'm playing so poorly, um, I didn't really take into account as Cavalier, he lives it, okay. Okay, Tapu Coco, you're just gonna spam Dazzling Gleam, but he probably won't die because he seems to have more, he has Special Defense Investment. But I can't go for T-Bolt because then I literally get trapped by the Marowak. I didn't get 6 would Like, that's the bright side to this. I didn't get 6 would Can you just go on slow opening? Just for fun. Like, just for fun. You don't know I'm scarf. I cannot break through, the, like, he still has Fat Mons and Manti and Miltank and Glefable. Like, I can't get through that. I, yeah, I'm just stuck here. Just spamming Death and Gloom. Oh, he lowered my... <laughs> lowered my special attack to boot. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't know.
like he he played well uh as cavalier really was a big problem i essentially only had two offensive mods everything else was just bulky because i was scared of his threat <sighs> i guess i kind of fell into that trap that i would before where i build too bulky and i have no offensive presence I'm gonna talk to some people and get help on this because it's like in two awful games that I've played now. Um, let's, uh, let's just hope to do better in the future.